Thanks Ford. Well, day five of testimony is wrapping up in the trial of a ride share driver accused of killing a protester in downtown Austin nearly three years ago. Army Sergeant Daniel Perry claims he shot Garrett Foster in self-defense that night after Foster raised his rifle at him. KVU's Isabella Basco has been following the trial for us back in the courtroom today. She joins us now with the latest. Isabella. Well, Brian and Ashley, today attorneys showed more body camera footage of the interactions between Perry and the officers after the shooting. Now, the body camera footage we saw in court was an exchange between officers and Perry. Perry mentioning he was in fear for his life and insisted he had never shot anybody before. Attorneys later showed footage of Perry alone in a room interacting with APD and the moment he found out Garrett Foster had died. Hey, how are you, bud? I know, I know this is a really stressful time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's dead! Oh god! Oh god, I'm dying! Oh god! I'm dying! Oh god, I just always wanted to defend myself. Yeah, so it won't take so long to. And a witness who took the stand today was crime okay, analyst Pam Mazak, who shared a PowerPoint of Perry's Uber and phone, and phone locations that night. Attorneys showed a text exchange between Perry and a woman he picked up before making what he says was a wrong turn where the protesters were. The defense arguing the location showed he did not appear to have been circling the protesters, but the state argued the text he got was a couple minutes before turning onto Congress. The state proceeded to also show a social media post of Perry's. There's a post that says any protesters, anarchists, agitators, looters, or lowlifes who are going to Oklahoma, please understand you will not be treated like you have in New York, Seattle, or Minneapolis. It will be a much different scene. And Daniel Perry at Knives from Trigun replies, send them to Texas, we will show them why we say don't mess with Texas. And so far today, at least six witnesses have taken the stand. That includes a crime analyst, Uber passenger, officers, and a radio host. Now this trial is set to wrap up soon in uh, just a few minutes at 6 o'clock, so we'll see you back then. Brian and Ashley.